As a sound designer, you are guaranteed to get two types of feedback when designing authentic gun sounds. This is not what this gun sounds like and the gun needs to be louder. Let's jump straight into it and listen to two guns. Can you hear which one has a larger caliber? Let me spoil you right there. Both were recordings of an M4 being fired from a similar angle and a distance in a similar environment. The only difference being the respective shitty microphones which recorded them. As a matter of fact, each microphone will color a gun recording in its own way, even if all parameters remain the same. To make matters worse, a clean gun recording is barely usable in a game without any post-processing. And even the most basic post-processing can alter the character of the sound quite significantly. Finally, let's say we would be able to record exactly what we hear. There's the catch that a large part of what is perceived as the sound of the weapon is actually the tail, the sound of the bang bouncing back from the environment. Here, have a listen. Same bang, different tails. And then there is the topic of making gun sounds louder. You see, there is a clearly defined technical loudness limit in digital audio. It's called 0 decibels full scale or 0 dBFS and all you need to know is that it's impossible to exceed this limit. If we try to do so, the waveform of the audio just gets cut and our sound distorts. This is why it's so important to plan the sound design of a project around the sounds that will be actually in the game. In a game with tanks and artillery, a machine gun is a comparatively small weapon and needs to leave some space for these larger guns. Consequently, a game in which machine guns are the largest weapons can use all the available space to beef them up. I personally call all of this soundscape scaling. That being said, this knowledge should never be an excuse for rejecting feedback. People make these remarks because the soundscape didn't provide them the emotion or satisfaction that they expected. And it's on us, the sound designers, to deliver. So have a good one and bye.